After years of preparation, Niagara Emergency Medical Services have found a short-term home for their new fleet and logistics center. It's a multi-purpose site. It is the primary site where we're going to house all of our equipment, and that includes ambulances, the pharmaceuticals that we use every day to go out and treat patients, all of the equipment and supplies that the paramedics need to be able to properly do their job, and of course, you know, just to have a logistics area so that we can prepare and plan for large-scale events. So if we need a cache, an inventory of a stockpile of uh, immunization type of supplies so that uh, we can manage disease control. So it's multi-purpose, uh, decontamination of vehicles, you name it, it all happens here now. And how long has this project been underway? Well, this particular project is part of a larger piece which looks at all of our EMS facilities throughout the region. Currently, Niagara EMS, we have 17 different stations throughout the Niagara region. All of those stations have supplies in them, so they require inventory supplied to them. Uh, they're reporting stations, and it's not a very uh, efficient system. And it's, what, it's a remnant of uh, in 2000 when we amalgamated six different services all these stations were out. The vision long term is really about a hub and spoke model where we have hubs where uh, paramedics are deployed from and then they'll go to smaller satellite stations throughout the region so that we don't have to supply inventory to all the sites. So this particular site though was part of that plan in that in order to get to that point we need to be able to centrally locate all of the supplies, how we uh, stock our vehicles, how we decontaminate our vehicles and where you know we can operate the logistics component in a place that has lots of room today, seven years from now, Probably not, but for today it gets us to where we are, but longer term there is a plan. What makes this location here in Niagara-on-the-Lake such a great site for the centre? The location here and its proximity primarily to the QEW. So where we're located in Niagara-on-the-Lake, right on that corner where we abut Niagara Falls and St. Catharines is ideal. Niagara Falls and St. Catharines, uh, for call volume wise, and I think it's important to stress that we're not operating ambulances out of here, they're not dispatched to calls out of here, this is just a, a logistics uh, storage area. Uh, it's not a working ambulance station. Nothing changes as far as where ambulances are deployed from, but when we do need to send backup ambulances out be for maintenance or they need to come in, you know, for repair or decontamination, they need to be uh, brought in an area where the mass concentration of our resources which are deployed are. And St. Catharines and Niagara Falls are our largest urban areas where we have most of our resources located. And then also across the street we have our headquarters which is where our dispatch is located right across the QEW from where we are beside Niagara College. So this is a nice proximity where the team can feel part of the whole organization. And then just further up 58 you're into Thorold and Welland and the next area where we service. So it just strategically makes a lot of sense. And it's taken a couple of years um, but uh, we're here and we're, we couldn't be more thrilled. The center's new central location will better meet the needs of the Niagara EMS fleet and logistics services. Reporting in Niagara-on-the-Lake for The Source, I'm Katie Jones.